Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. It's been a few months since the game initially released, and if you missed that one video where I raved about it for a solid 20 minutes, then you probably missed out on the fact that I love this game. Like, so much. Getting such a big budget 3D platformer as a true follow-up to the original trilogy? It was awesome. Certainly not without its issues, but a surefire platformer classic all the same, as far as I'm concerned. But we fast forward to early 2021 and Crash 4 is now available on a whole bunch of new consoles, which is great. So it doesn't matter what machine you like to play on, you can get your hands on the latest and arguably greatest adventure the marsupial has seen yet. And that's pretty cool. And, you know, I never really do videos on upgraded ports like this, but for an opportunity like this, I couldn't help myself. So, full disclosure, I did receive a code for the PlayStation 5 version early. Now, if you have the PlayStation 4 version, you do get the upgrade to PS5 for free, which is awesome, but I'll forever be appreciative to be able to get my hands on this ahead of time. But the thing is, I, I was told I would have to do something a bit different if I wanted to receive the code, and I, I had no idea what that was, and I still don't. So I'm really hoping that at some point I do get to find out what... Whoa. First and foremost, let's talk about the upgrades you get with the PS5 version of the game. This isn't just the same game, but on a different console. Immediately noticeable to me, the game actually looks a lot better. Just on the base settings from my older PS4 footage and my newer PS5 footage, the colors are a whole lot more vibrant and Crash pops off the screen a whole lot more. Possibly in part because you're now able to get 4K resolution out of this as well, at 60 FPS. Oh man, I normally don't care about this kind of stuff, but it makes a good game look even better than it was before. Oh yeah, and there's also a brand new skeleton costume. I figured I should get that part out of the way before people ask why our favorite bandicoots now look dead all of a sudden. Being on newer, more powerful hardware also means shorter loading times. Even when compared to the PS4 version on the PS5's solid state drive, the native PS5 version is just lightning speeds faster. It certainly wasn't unbearable before, but the fact that they're as short as they are now is just awesome. This is easily one of my favorite aspects of modern console gaming. Man, if you try to go for everything in this game and you're doing dozens and dozens of time trial runs and insanely perfect run attempts, being able to go back to the start of a level in the midst of inevitable frustration is a huge relief. It makes the hurt that much less painful. Also exclusive to PS5, the game takes advantage of activity cards, tracking your progress through the game as well as letting you fast travel to certain objectives whenever you want. And those sweet adaptive triggers from the DualSense controller get put to use as well. Cortex's blaster, Dingo Dial's vacuum, riding the jetboard, check out how it works for Tano's hook shot. All of these little things make the PlayStation 5 version of Crash 4 feel more unique than the rest, and that is just really, really cool. Also, probably the best part about this upgrade, Holer's hitbox is now a lot bigger, meaning hitting all of the boxes and bears repeating is no longer the worst thing ever. Oh, oh thank god. I spent, and I am not even joking here, hours trying to nail this section on my first run, missing the same boxes over and over and over again, all to still be missing some anyway? Gah. So it is the same game, but made infinitely better thanks to the new hardware, which is awesome. A full completionist run will still take a whole lot out of you, but all of these little changes ultimately make it a better experience. And you know, that's all fine and good, but I think... I think we need to talk about these. Uh, I really don't know how long these are gonna stay on. Can we talk to a doctor? I mean, I know a pretty good witch doctor who doubles as a mask, so that could be very helpful. Also, I feel like going to the bathroom is gonna be made infinitely more difficult with these on. I gotta say, I've never worn something like this before, but I am impressed. The fur is very furry, the leather is very leathery. These certainly feel like the genuine article. Simply comparing them to Crash's actual hands, which are a whole lot easier to see thanks to the next-gen port, ho ho, yeah, they're pretty spot on. Not a ton of movement though, wearing it is fine enough, but bending any of the fingers? Yeah, not so much. How does the guy in the big Crash costume pull it off? Which does beg the question, the quality of these hands are top-notch, I don't think anyone can argue that, but what is it like playing Crash 4 It's About Time on PlayStation 5 with Crash's actual hands. I know you've all been asking for it, and today, we're gonna find out the answer. You see, I already live-streamed my experience doing so not too long ago over on my Twitch page, and it was... one hell of an experience, I can tell you that much. So you know what that calls for, it is time for a good old-fashioned highlight reel. Now kids, before you watch this, just know... Don't try this at home. What have I got? 
probably have a few questions as to uh, what what is happening here on the screen. It, it's quite simple, uh, actually. Uh, I got I got I got something. <laughs> uh, I got I got big crash hands now. They're, they're huge. These were not what I expected when I was told these things were happening. You might have to forgive me for a little bit. This is going to be just the the jankest thing I've ever seen. You can already see the size uh, with with the controller versus the the hand. This is this should be uh, a trip. So the big the big problem with big old crash hands is just I need to now pick up the controller, uh, which. That that could be a problem. But say we can we can hit all the right buttons. There you go. We get we got that and the and the and the spin. Uh, we can do the crouch. That's all we need to do. We go up here. Boom. Boom. Oh, boom. Boom. Look at that. I can get trophies while wearing crash hands. That's pretty cool. This is how I always figured my life would be going. If I'm being uh, completely honest with you, if you were to tell me. That at some point in my life, my years of playing Crash Bandicoot would get me to the point where I'm 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 doing this. I you know what I, I I'd have pause, quite literally. Uh, but I, I would believe it. All right, we got it. Cramping up. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. Level we're only one level in. Uh, it's only been about ten minutes a game. We got this. If I if I'm even oh, if I'm even able to get to engine, that'd be a trip. Oh, I, why do I keep hitting? Why do I keep hitting the the the? Oh oh. No. There's that one. I can probably, like, since I only need the analog stick with the left hand, I could probably just, like, use my pointer finger. That's almost probably a little bit better. As long as I don't need to, uh, slide all that much, we're golden. If only there was... Actually, yeah, you know what? We can, we can try that. Let's try that. Let's try it all. We'll pop the controller down, like that. And now let's see if I can, if I can just... Where's the button? There you go, there's the button. I'm hitting both at the same time. There you go. We're just playing it like it's a keyboard. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Wait. Got wait. Timing is key. Oh, that's not. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There's the gem, baby. Crash has some thick fingers, though. I don't know how he does it, but man, his, his fingers be pretty thick. Okay, this... <laughs> Can we get the red gem? Theoretically, yes. Realistically, I don't know. Bingo, baby! Nice. Cool. Yep, nailed it. Alright, uh, perfect. Oh, Crash is smiling again? I think we're getting the clear. Bingo, baby! No. Wrong button. Bingo, baby! <laughs> you did it! Yay! Give me that trophy, thank you very much. This is that's what's important here today. Oh, oh, that a lot happened in a very short amount of time with those button presses. It ain't it ain't not it ain't no tough at all. That's not cool. That was that was pretty cool. It is so impossible to hold this control. <laughs> uh, we got to take a bit of a breather. Oh my god, how am I not dead? So not safe. Oh my god. Feel just a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain as a treat. One, two, one, two, three. Four. Okay, all right, all right, let's go. Okay. This is this is such a cool boss fight. I... Oh god, I forgot about this. A oh, Oh, uh oh. No. Hey, we did it. Oh my god, I don't need that. Really 
Hey! Oh, there's one more. Oh, I'm expecting three hits all the time. Well, he's doing all right. No! How am I alive? Oh my god. Oh my god. What just happened? Let's go! I am exhausted. <laughs> I am so drained. And then you want to do it later on anyway. That's pretty that was pretty that was pretty slick though. All things considered, that was pretty slick. Oh my god. Oh I'm alive! Like, the, the jumping and moving the analog stick to land on something else is actually, like, the easiest part of this whole ordeal. Doing anything with buttons? That's where the problems go. <laughs> no, not again. Oh my god. You got this. You got this. Believe in your dreams. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Except for getting the box gem. Bam. <laughs> Did it. What have I got? So at the end of the day, this was a uh, very interesting experience. I think we can all say that is a very safe word to use for this. And I hope you enjoyed my suffering. If you want to watch the full live stream, that has been uploaded to my archive channel as well. So you can watch my suffering in all of its full detail. And when all is said and done, I can happily say Crash 4 is still as awesome as it ever was, made even better with the jump to PlayStation 5. Now, when it comes to the hands, I don't know if I would recommend it, but hey, I can now add this to my legacy. Whoa!